Thank you, Chris. Good morning, everyone. Um, as you all know, my name is Louis again. Uh, I'm from Resist Property Inspections. Um, I joined BNI Group chapter in Williamstown, Sydney, staff in October, November last year. And uh, thank you for giving me a chance to present today and some information about myself and also my business. Uh, hope you enjoy the breakfast when you listen to me. Uh, just a quick head up to tell you what information I'm going to share with you today. First, who, who, the, who the hell am I? <laughs> uh, a bit more about Resister. Why you need a property inspection? How we handling the process of inspection? Our services and my referrals for this week or for the BNI chapter I'm not gonna get. Now, who am I? From this photo you may understand that where I came from. So I'm from Vietnam there and this is my hometown. Ho Chi Minh City, the biggest city in the South Vietnam. And this is where I was born. Um, I don't know exactly how it looked like at the time because my mom didn't take a photo of me, but uh, should be similar like that. <laughs> now, after spending the first 22 years of my life in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, I, in 2004, I flew straight into Hobart, Tasmania, put myself in the only one university in the island, and got my degree of engineering background in 2005. In 06, I flew up to Queensland to get my first job as a project engineer, working in the road construction projects, looking after project management, and um, yeah, organize everything from the beginning to the end. So after a couple of years, I went out to Melbourne to visit my friend. He went to the uni with me, doing the engineering background, but he ended up to be a real estate agent. He told me that he's just got a new house, block of land, and he said, I'm saying, cool, that's fantastic. Uh, he said, you want one? I got another one, uh, just a minute arrive from away from my house. I said, yes, I do. And he said, yep, come over, leave in here, and I sell you the house. Easy. So two weeks later, in LA, I came to Melbourne, get the first mortgage, and get the second job as with ratio consultants as traffic engineer, uh, also a civil engineer. Um, after six months, keep spending half of my salary into the mortgage. I said, no, it's not what I want to do in the future for the rest of my life. So I start Googling, searching around, ask people many questions about business. And finally, I found Resistor. So I joined Resistor in 2011 and kickstart my first own business until now. And that's where I am now. About Resistor, originally we established in Perth in 2009. We only two inspectors and a very, very basic, very small business. And uh, Resister is a very successful business model. We expand and grow it very quickly. And in two years later, we kickstart the licensing and franchise system in Melbourne in 2011. And like I told you, uh, we are very, growing very quickly. And after one year later, we become nationwide with inspectors in New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and Western Australia. We're heading to Tasmania right now, and uh, we keep expanding. So Louis, which is myself, we joined, I joined Resistor in August when they came to Melbourne in 2011. And I started doing inspection in March in 2012 because we had to spend a bit of time, around six months or six or seven months to do only training on-site, off-site, in-class, off-class, and all organized on the paperwork. They also teach me how to run the business successfully, not just doing inspections. Now, why property inspections? Um, property is exactly the same like all the other stuff that you're buying and selling. Before you decide to buy something, you have to inspect it. Make sure you know and fully understand what's going on there, what you are buying and what you are selling. And the reason for that is because you don't have, you don't want to see any surprises. All right? You buy something and you're not, you found out it's not what you want, that's a surprise. And property inspection, it try to help you to eliminate all the surprises with your properties. And the reason you got the surprises is because you got different point of views from the buyers and the vendors. Just have a look. Sell impression. You live in your house 15, 20 years, and you say, I'm a good owner, I'm very reliable, I'm doing good job with maintenance of my properties, so my property is a perfect house, I want to sell above that price when the market price is here. That's what I want to sell. You want to maximize your properties, value. However, the buyer impression, not exactly the same like yours, like this. <laughs> now, you are a buyer saying, no, no, I don't believe you. I don't believe it. 
The same, I, never, I never know him before. How can I trust him? I reckon there are many, many things going on in that process. I can't see, I'm not professional, I can't see everything, so I don't believe you. And if you want to bargain down the price below the market as much as you can. Now, how, you can, how can you bring both into one point? Because this is exactly where the house is. Very normal, standard, single story, three bedrooms, a little front yard. And that's the point where the property inspection can bring both buyers and the sellers into one. Now, handling process of inspection. Uh, first, I want to go through with you how normal inspection process with the other inspectors and in the market happening right now. You got the inspector, the chaser, and the vendor, who is the three key men in here. Now, the purchaser engages the inspector to do the job. We do, we done the inspection, send the report to the purchaser, telling what's going on. Vendor doesn't know anything. The purchaser got some queries about the properties. Where are they going to go? The only one that can go is real estate agent. We ask the questions, what's going on, how can we fix? Agent doesn't know much. Come back to the inspector, ask the questions, what's going on? What exactly happened? How can we fix that? We come back with the answer, agent come to the chaser, agent come to the vendor, vendor come back agent, and it's a mess. Going on, going around. So with braces, we quick, simple, and easy, fast, brilliant report. We, we don't do this way, we do it differently. We sit in the middle, we do the job, talk to the buyer, this is our clients, we have to explain everything. We talk to the real estate agent, explain to them what's going on, what's going to happen. We talk to the vendor if you got a the chance to talk to them on site when they present at the, at the inspection. So we have to resolve all the drama, all the problems and all the uh, time wasting for everyone. Instant report, no charge. So this is our service that we offer from resistors. Pre-purchase inspection is our main service. We offer this to help the buyers and all the purchaser to gain a peace of mind and full understanding of the structure on the house. Vendor inspection, like the story I told you before, we're helping the buyer, sorry, the seller, the vendors to sell the property a lot higher with the market price if they want to gain the, the, the best value for their property. Landlord maintenance is be helping the landlords who got the tenants living into the house and keep moving in and out and make sure that everything's okay, nothing need to maintain and how much you got the value for them to maintain. Owner builder warranty insurance. Uh, by section 137B of building up, if you build your house by your own and you want to sell that within six years, you have to get the builder the warranty insurance for your structure. If it's worth more than 12,000 and we having builder uh, the owner builder to get the warranty inspection report. State construction inspection, uh, that's we are uh, doing for stage G for the new house, construction of the new house. Uh, we're having the, the buyers, the first home owner to understand that what's going on with the construction process and make sure everything's spot on, everything correct and nothing going bad. Handover defect inspection, that's the final stage of the construction process. So we inspection and make sure everything's spot on before they move in. Retrospective approval, if you got the uh, structure of your build, or without a permit, we have them to get a permit and then sell the house easily. Best referrals for me, property buyers or purchaser, vendors want to maximize their property values, landlords who want to make sure that everything's okay with their investment properties, owner builders want to sell the house within six years old, first home owner want to get a peace of mind when they first move into the new house. And that's it for me. Thank you.